Fine Needle Aspiration, Wikipedia Article Audio Fine Needle Aspiration is a diagnostic procedure used to investigate lumps or masses. In this technique, a thin, hollow needle is inserted into the mass for sampling of cells that, after being stained, will be examined under a microscope. The sampling and biopsy considered together are called fine needle aspiration biopsy or fine needle aspiration cytology. Fine needle aspiration biopsies are very safe, minor surgical procedures. Often, a major surgical biopsy can be avoided by performing a needle aspiration biopsy instead. In 1981, the first fine needle aspiration biopsy in the United States was done at Maimonides Medical Center, eliminating the need for surgery and hospitalization. Today, this procedure is widely used in the diagnosis of cancer and inflammatory conditions. Medication Uses Preparation Procedure Post-operative care and complications Criticism A needle aspiration biopsy is safer and less traumatic than an open surgical biopsy, and significant complications are usually rare, depending on the body site. Common complications include bruising and soreness. There is a risk, because the biopsy is very small that the problematic cells will be missed, resulting in a false negative result. There is also a risk that the cells taken will not enable a definitive diagnosis. This type of sampling is performed for one of two reasons. When the lump can be felt, the biopsy is usually performed by a cytopathologist or a surgeon. In this case, the procedure is usually short and simple. Otherwise, it may be performed by an interventional radiologist, a doctor with training in performing such biopsies under X-ray or ultrasound guidance. In this case, the procedure may require more extensive preparation and take more time to perform. Also, Fine needle aspiration is the main method used for chorionic villus sampling, as well as for many types of body fluid sampling. It is also used for ultrasound guided aspiration of breast abscess, of breast cysts, and of seromas. Several preparations may be necessary before this procedure. Before the procedure is started, vital signs may be taken. Then, depending on the nature of the biopsy, an intravenous line may be placed. Very anxious patients may want to be given sedation through this line. For patients with less anxiety, oral medication can be prescribed to be taken before the procedure. The skin above the area to be biopsied is swabbed with an antiseptic solution and draped with sterile surgical towels. The skin, Underlying fat, and muscle may be numbed with a local anesthetic, although this is often not necessary with superficial masses. After locating the mass for biopsy, using X-rays, or palpation, a special needle of very fine diameter is passed into the mass. The needle may be inserted and withdrawn several times. There are many reasons for this. After the needles are placed into the mass, cells are withdrawn by aspiration with a syringe and spread on a glass slide. The patient's vital signs are taken again, and the patient is removed to an observation area for about 3 to 5 hours. As with any surgical procedure, complications are possible, but major complications due to thin needle aspiration biopsies are fairly uncommon and when complications do occur, they are generally mild. The kind and severity of complications depend on the organs from which a biopsy is taken or the organs gone through to obtain cells. After the procedure, mild analgesics are used to control post-operative pain. 
Aspirin or aspirin substitutes should not be taken for 48 hours after the procedure. Since sterility is maintained throughout the procedure, infection is rare. But should an infection occur, it will be treated with antibiotics. Bleeding is the most common complication of this procedure. A slight bruise may also appear. If a lung or kidney biopsy has been performed, it is very common to see a small amount of blood in sputum or urine after the procedure. Only a small amount of bleeding should occur. During the observation period after the procedure, bleeding should decrease over time. If more bleeding occurs, this will be monitored until it subsides. Rarely, major surgery will be necessary to stop the bleeding. Other complications depend upon the body part on which the biopsy takes place. A recent study showed that in one case a needle biopsy of a liver tumor resulted in spread of the cancer along the path of the needle, and concluded that needle aspiration was dangerous and unnecessary. The conclusions drawn from this paper were strongly criticized subsequently. Lung Neck Bone Risk no use of aspirin or non-steroidal anti-inflammatory medications for one week before the procedure, no food intake a few hours before the procedure, routine blood tests must be completed two weeks before the biopsy, suspension of blood anticoagulant medications, antibiotic prophylaxis may be instituted. One needle may be used as a guide with the other needles placed along it to achieve a more precise position, sometimes, several passes may be needed to obtain enough cells for the intricate tests which the cytopathologists perform. For biopsies in the breast, ultrasound guided fine needle biopsy is the most common dot the biopsy is advised. Lung biopsies are frequently complicated by pneumothorax. This complication can also accompany biopsies in the upper abdomen near the base of the lung. About one quarter to one half of patients having lung biopsies will develop pneumothorax. Usually, the degree of collapse is small and resolves on its own without treatment. A small percentage of patients will develop a pneumothorax serious enough to require hospitalization and placement of a chest tube for treatment. Although it is impossible to predict in whom this will occur, collapsed lungs are more frequent and more serious in patients with severe emphysema and in patients in whom the biopsy is difficult to perform. For biopsies of the liver, bile leakages may occur, but these are quite rare. Pancreatitis may occur after biopsies in the area around the pancreas, in biopsies in the area of the breast. Bleeding and bruising may occur, less frequently also infection or pneumothorax, deaths have been reported from needle aspiration biopsies, but such outcomes are extremely rare. Medline Plus Encyclopedia 003860, Lung Needle Biopsy N-561 at E-Medicine, Fine Needle Aspiration of Neck Masses Medline Plus Encyclopedia 003899, Thyroid Nodule Fine Needle Aspirate. Medline Plus Encyclopedia 003658, Bone Marrow Aspiration, Med 2971 at E Medicine, Bone Marrow Aspiration and Biopsy. Risk of Tumor Cells Seeding Through Biopsy and Aspiration Cytology 2014